Determining if figures are congruent and related by a sequence of transformations. Answer the questions about figure A and figure B below. So on my coordinate plane here, I have two figures, A and B. The first question is, are figure A and B congruent? Which means, are they the same size, same shape, even if they've been moved around the plane a little bit, or turned, or flipped? Right? Has that changed the actual figure itself, or just where it is? Okay, so. I went ahead and used a piece of tracing paper here to trace this original figure. And if I move now this tracing paper over here, I can see that those two shapes are exactly the same size. Okay, one overlays directly onto the other one. Okay, so I would answer yes, those two figures are congruent. They're the same shape same size, it's just been turned and moved around the plane a little bit. Okay, so now question B, which sequences of transformations will map figure A onto figure B exactly? Choose all that apply. Okay, now the first one says translate figure A right six units. Okay, so that would mean I'm taking this figure and moving it to the right one, two, three, four, five, six units, okay? So that means it would be right there. Then rotate the result counterclockwise 180 degrees about the origin, okay? So now, right, if I rotated this, here's my quadrant that I'm in right now, I kind of anchor this with my pencil and rotate it 180 degrees, that's two quadrants, counterclockwise, that would put this, okay, down here in this quadrant. So that didn't line me up over here where I needed to be, okay, so this one's out. Reflect the figure over the x-axis and then rotate that result counterclockwise 180 degrees, okay? So now I'm going to try this again, okay? Um, here's my axis, okay? Here's my original figure. Okay, so if I'm going to first reflect it over the x-axis, that means I'm going to flip it from above the x-axis to below. So I'm going to actually take this paper and flip it. Okay, that puts my figure right here. Still not over here. That's where I need to go. But now we're going to rotate that result counterclockwise 180 degrees. Okay. So now, taking this, if I rotate it, okay, one quadrant, two quadrants, that would put me up here, okay, not down here where I need to be. That one's out. <coughs> okay, next, rotate figure eight clockwise, 90 degrees, so draw in. again. I'm doing this pretty quick. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate the figure clockwise 90. So anchor at the origin there. I'm going clockwise 90. So one quadrant this way. Okay, and then translate that result down seven units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks like it's going to do it, okay? Definitely a possibility on that one, okay? That one looks like it works. I'm going to check the last one. Uh, it says rotate figure eight clockwise 180 degrees. Okay. 
Okay, so here's my figure again. Okay, first we're going to go clockwise this time, 180 degrees, so that means one, two quadrants this way, okay, and then reflect it over the y-axis, or in other words, now I'm going to take and do a flip this way over my y-axis, and my figure ends up here, not there, okay, so this one's out, and this is my choice that worked.